Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new releases video and a little bit of a shop update video for you too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the new releases and then I will get into the kind of shop update stuff um, as the video goes on. So the first new release that is coming out tomorrow, January 1st, and my shop opens at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time is this January monthly kit. I went, or sorry, January monthly notes kit. Um, I went a little bit notes pages crazy um, this month. I don't know. I just got really, really inspired by note pages. So I came up with this kit and this is the kit that is going to be around for January and February. Um, I will be taking your feedback though for March and so on and so forth, but just I wanted to get January and February out there. So this is what I came up with and I have it done in my planner for 2017 already, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea on what it would look like. Um, they are kind of designed to fit this way. Um, I don't know if you could, well, I mean, you could like switch these two um, columns around, but I don't think you could really like put different ones in different places if that makes sense because I did design it kind of just to all be one page like that. So in this notes pages kit you have your header flag to cover the top that says January be the best version of you. You have the word of the month. I want to have a word of the month every month this year. Sorry it's a little bit dark. I want to have a word of the month every month this year instead of like a word of the year so I decided to put word of the month. I know people like to track their planner spreads in their notes pages so I have planner spreads here. Um, this month's goals, important dates, and then I have currently reading, celebrating, watching, excited for, planning, working on, loving, grateful for, and listening to. And then I just have this blank note, pay, note section here. As you can see, this is one big sticker. And I wasn't really sure what to use this for, so I decided just to leave it blank with lines and then I have these four flag headers here so you can kind of like mix and match and decide you don't even have to put a header there you can just you can leave that blank um, or whatever tickles your fancy I guess so you have a few notes best memories next month and to do this month so something else to note about these kits is I did try and match them as close as I possibly could to the colors of the quote in the Erin Condren because personally I think that would bother me um, if this was like a different color than this was here. So I decided to kind of like match them as best that I could. And like I said, I do have February as well. So February is the exact same format, February love yourself first. And yeah, it is the exact same format as January, as you can see. I don't know, I just wanted to kind of figure out a way to use my note pages a little bit more this year since they are such wasted space in my planner. So I decided to come up with them. But like I said, for the rest of the months of the year, I will be obviously taking more of your feedback and they might change as the months go on. So the next thing that I have to share is another note pages kit. And this is my, I guess my weight loss tracker note pages kit. So what you have here is you have the header flag that says be stronger than your excuses. I did a box for my before and after photo. As you can see, this is one big sticker. And then I have a box for I deserve this because so you can write down all of the reasons why you are trying to either lose or gain weight. Sorry, my phone rang. So. This section is just for kind of like writing reasons why you deserve to lose weight because I don't think many of us really think about why we deserve it. We know we want to, but like what are the what are the reasons why we deserve to actually lose the weight rather than just like vanity purposes. Um, and then here you have this giant sticker here. This is a giant sticker that basically has like a map so you can put your starting weight at the beginning of the year and then you can go in two pound increments one pound increment five pound increments depending on how much you want to lose before your first goal and I like to set little goals for myself so I'm personally going to be doing it in five in one pound increments so every five pounds I will be rewarding myself with a goal. So I figured that you could mark them off as you lose weight. And then down here you have another sticker that says when I hit a goal, I will. And then this obviously the red one corresponds with the red um, 
cloud, that's the word, up here so you can write down like, I'm gonna get a massage, I'm gonna get my hair done, I'm gonna go on a shopping spree or something like that. So I just thought this was a really nice way to kind of keep track of that and it's obviously something that is close to my heart, but I have this all done in my planner too. So this is the mock-up that I did in my personal planner for 2017, so I will be using this, but this is how the page looks when you're all done. And personally, I think it looks so, so nice. I love how it turned out. So this turned out perfectly. I'm so excited about this and I can't wait to fill it in tomorrow because I don't wanna put my start weight until tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then fill out my goals and all that stuff. But if you want to kind of keep an eye on how this is going, definitely follow me on Instagram and I will be sharing the note pages as the year goes on. So the next note pages kit I have is this book reading kit and I am so, so, so excited about this. I drew this bookcase and it turned out so much better than I thought that it ever would. Um, basically the idea behind this is obviously it is a note page kit so it goes in the back of your planner or you can use it monthly or anything like that. And as you read a book throughout the year, you can write the name of whatever book you read in the spine of the books in this bookcase. So this bookcase is pretty ginormous but like I like I said I do have a mock-up of this as well so I'll share that with you in a second um, the header of this one says so many books so little time and then I also did a to be released list um, for books that you're excited about being released next year or even in 2018 and then I also have a to read list because I'm sure as the year goes on you're gonna have books that you might not be able to fit into your yearly reading and you might want to start making a list for 2018 so I figured this would be a really Really nice way to kind of start that list. So here is this page mocked up in my planner. Like I said, so obsessed. This is a little bit different because I did have books I've read this year up here, but then I did get some feedback saying that they would kind of read more than 52 books, which is how many books is in here um, in a year. So I am going to be having this set as a whole and then I'm also going to be selling the bookcase on its own just in case you need another one. Um, the two bookcases won't fit on one page unless maybe if you put them this way they might fit but even then I don't I don't think so. No they wouldn't fit but I didn't want to make it any smaller because then it would be impossible to write the names of the books into the bookcase so I love how this turned out and my note pages so far are just blowing my mind. I'm so excited about it. So those are the two note pages for the back of your planner. And then I also have another little sheet here that is kind of corresponding to that um, book note pages kit. And I decided to make these started reading and finished reading um, stickers. I have one here that I used myself. Um, in my planner and I just thought that they would be a really nice way to see kind of like how long a book took you to read um, I'm a little bit obsessed with reading right now. You can thank Paige from creating and co for that um, But I do think it is exactly what I needed to kind of like give myself a creative break um, I loved reading in the past and I used to devour books But ever since I started working from home, I haven't been reading as much. So yes, I'm so so excited about them And last but not least, I have three weekly kits to share with you and a reformat to share with you as well. So I'm gonna start off with Black Cab. And this is going to be the Pretty on Paper Co. Valentine's Day kit. So the first thing in this kit is the date cover-ups. They now come on a separate page and you also get the 31 date dots. Next you have your four different colors of glitter headers. You have the functional page, which I'm not sure if this is hugely different, but I'm gonna go through it anyway. So you have actually eight checklists here. You have your pay this instead of bill due, and I did shrink this a little bit from our pay or from our bill due stickers that were in the kits before. One appointment label, three canceled labels, four little flags, a bunch of little mini icons, a payday, excuse me, a payday banner, a laundry day sticker, wine o'clock a laptop, a coffee, these two little like squiggly lines I've been using for like kind of dividing out my planner a little bit. Um, some balloons, your planner, your envelope. <laughs> 
Um, you have a house here. I took away rent due because uh, obviously there are a lot of people who own their home. So I decided just to leave it as a house. I did add a little date night sticker here, a weekly weigh in because that is probably my favorite sticker in my kit. So I couldn't take that out. You have a get shit done, a movie marquee, a laundry or not a laundry, a grocery cart because I realized every time I used my kits that I really needed something to mark grocery shopping. So I put a grocery cart and then I have the weekend banner, which is just a little bit more dainty than the weekend banner before. So the next page hasn't really changed much. You have your headers and your little things. The only difference here is that I added a line of blank headers. Then you have your washi page, which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, so in love with this washi. Then you have your half boxes page. So you have nine half boxes, three third boxes, and three quarter boxes. And you have your four habit trackers, your Monday through Sunday tracker, and what I call a spending tracker for your sidebar. Then you have your ombre heart checklists. And based on feedback, I did take out one heart from the ombre heart checklist. So they're a little bit taller. So people with big handwriting have enough space. And then you have your gorgeous full boxes. And I'm so, so in love with these full boxes. They're so gorgeous. The quote I decided on is one from Sex and the City. If you can find someone to love the, the you you love, that's just fabulous. And I just love this kit. I think it's gorgeous. I love black and pink together. And I will definitely be using this for Valentine's Day. The next kit we have is Awaken. So I'm gonna go through this a little bit quicker than the last kit since you do know the changes. You have your date covers, your glitter headers. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. These colors are so, so pastel, so might be hard to kind of see on screen. But you have your functional page. You have your full boxes, which are just stunning. And the quote that I decided to use is a quote from Mumford and Sons from one of their songs. And it says, lend me your eyes. I can change what you see, but your soul you must keep totally free. And I just love that quote. I think it goes so well with the full boxes and I just think it's gorgeous. You have your headers and your little things. You have your ombre heart checklists your washi page, which just look at this washi, you guys, that is so, so pretty. And then you have your half boxes and your sidebar page. So you may have noticed that I have decided to take out one full box and one ombre heart checklist. Um, I've just kind of noticed that not everybody was using the ninth ombre heart checklist and the ninth full box. So I decided to do it this way. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys. I don't really think anybody has a reason to use an, um, like nine full boxes. And if you do, the washi is always like this. So it will kind of create a full box if you did need that extra kind of decorative element in your spread. So that is Awaken and it's one of my favorites. I think I might actually use this next week for the first week of my new planner because I just think it is gorgeous. Then the last kit is what I'm calling my alternative St. Patrick's Day kit. Um, if you liked watercolor roses or watercolor floral that I had in the shop last year, you will love this kit. So I've, I've never been a fan of the cheesy kind of St. Patrick's Day kits that everybody comes out with. So I wanted to create something that was kind of like, like a tip of the hat to St. Patrick's Day, but wasn't like in your face St. Patrick's Day. So this is the kit that I came up with. So you have your date cover ups here. You have your glitter headers, which I love these colors. You have your functional page. And then you have your full boxes, which I think turned out so, so beautifully. Um, I'm gonna try and like zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, like it's very, very floral, but with like hints of St. Patrick's Day. And I just think this is so, so gorgeous. It's so hard to see if this is like still in focus. And the quote that I decided to go with is, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. That is an Irish proverb, apparently. I learned a lot when I was researching for this kit. Then you have your headers and little things. You have your ombre heart checklists. 
you have your washi, which this washi is just stunning. And the quote on this washi is dance as if no one is watching, sing as if no one is listening and live every day as if it were your last. And then you have your half boxes sheet with your sidebar stuff as well. So that is St. Patrick is what I'm calling it. And those are all of the new releases for this week. I am hoping to have some new releases next week, so don't you worry guys, there will be more for you. Then you have your half boxes page, so you have nine half boxes, three third boxes, and three quarter boxes, and you have your four habit trackers, your Monday through Sunday tracker, and what I call a spending tracker for your sidebar. Then you have your ombre heart checklists and based on feedback, I did take out one heart from the ombre heart checklist. So they're a little bit taller. So people with big handwriting have enough space. And then you have your gorgeous full boxes. And I'm so, so in love with these full boxes. They're so gorgeous. The quote I decided on is one from Sex in the City. If you can find someone to love the the you you love that's just fabulous and I just love this kit I think it's gorgeous I love black and pink together and I will definitely be using this for Valentine's Day The next kit we have is Awaken. So I'm gonna go through this a little bit quicker than the last kit since you do know the changes. You have your date covers, your glitter headers. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. These colors are so, so pastel, so might be hard to kind of see on screen. But you have your functional page. You have your full boxes, which are just stunning. And the quote that I decided to use is a quote from Mumford and Sons from one of their songs. And it says, lend me your eyes, I can change what you see, but your soul you must keep totally free. And I just love that quote. I think it goes so well with the full boxes and I just think it's gorgeous. You have your headers and your little things. You have your ombre heart checklists your washi page, which just look at this washi, you guys, that is so, so pretty. And then you have your half boxes and your sidebar page. So you may have noticed that I have decided to take out one full box and one ombre heart checklist. Um, I just kind of noticed that not everybody was using the ninth ombre heart checklist and the ninth full box. So I decided to do it this way. Um, I hope that's okay with you guys. I don't really think anybody has a reason to use an, um, like nine full boxes. And if you do, the washi is always like this. So it will kind of create a full box if you did need that extra kind of decorative element in your spread. So that is Awaken and it's one of my favorites. I think I might actually use this next week for the first week of my new planner because I just think it is gorgeous. Then the last kit is what I'm calling my alternative St. Patrick's Day kit. Um, if you liked watercolor roses or watercolor floral that I had in the shop last year, you will love this kit. So I've, I've never been a fan of the cheesy kind of St. Patrick's Day kits that everybody comes out with. So I wanted to create something that was kind of like, like a tip of the hat to St. Patrick's Day, but wasn't like in your face St. Patrick's Day. So this is the kit that I came up with. So you have your date cover ups here. You have your glitter headers, which I love these colors. You have your functional page. And then you have your full boxes, which I think turned out so, so beautifully. Um, I'm gonna try and like zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, like it's very, very floral, but with like hints of St. Patrick's Day. And I just think this is so, so gorgeous. It's so hard to see if this is like still in focus. And the quote that I decided to go with is, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. That is an Irish proverb, apparently. I learned a lot when I was researching for this kit. Then you have your headers and little things. You have your ombre heart checklists. You have your washi, which this washi is just stunning. And the quote on this washi is, dance as if no one is watching, sing as if no one is listening, and live every day as if it were your last. 
And then you have your half boxes sheet with your sidebar stuff as well. So that is St. Patrick is what I'm calling it. And those are all of the new releases for this week. I am hoping to have some new releases next week. So don't you worry guys, there will be more for you. So on to kind of shop announcements. I've made the decision today to close my standalone site on Shopify and just stick with Etsy for 2017. Some of you might think that this is a little bit strange, but it's just, it's hard to kind of manage both. And one of my goals for 2017 is obviously to keep customer service up and to keep you guys happy. And everybody loves a quick ship time. And for me to have a quick ship time and for me to not lose my mind, I have to be ready to ship. And it's really hard to kind of like balance the stock between my standalone site and the Etsy site. And just kind of like looking at stats and everything from the past few months, the Etsy site is definitely doing a little bit better for me. So I decided to close the Shopify website. So that is no longer going to be open. All of these new releases are only going to be on Etsy. If you did have a kind of hefty amount of Pop Fetty points, please send me an email and I will work out a code for you for Etsy because I do realize that a lot of you did like that. And yes, yeah, so that is the first change coming to the shop. The second change is that all of these kits will now be a la carte as well. So tomorrow when you see the new releases, I will have a listing for every single single sheet here. And I will also have a listing for the full kit with a slightly discounted price. Um, again, I just kind of want to make you guys happy. And I know a lot of you guys maybe like wouldn't use the ombre heart checklists if you had this functional page. Um, a lot of you said you wouldn't use the date cover-ups um, and stuff like that. So I really wanted just to kind of like make it easiest for you guys to get exactly what you want and go from there. So I think that is all of the announcements for this week. Um, I hope you guys love these new releases. I am absolutely obsessed with them. I can't wait to use that Awaken kit next week. And yeah, shop opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I will leave a link to the shop in the description box down below. Be sure to hit the notify button and you'll get an email when we officially open. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week for some new releases again. <laughs> okay, bye.